Hello everyone and welcome to the Govland YouTube channel. My name is Raul and today I will be going over text and image customization for the Govland agents and some of their screens. Here are some of the reasons you may want to customize the text and image that Govland displays while in a remote control session. The corporate image and by corporate image I'm not talking about a disk image. I'm talking about how the uh, how your company may want to um, tailor their desktop experience for their users uh, such as uh, standard desktop backgrounds and color schemes so by customizing the image that's on the banner you can provide a familiar and seamless experience to your users user recognition is another reason you might want to customize some of these aspects your users will know that support is coming from an internal source and the final reason is uh, localization for different languages you may support users who speak different languages. Um, so with the text customization, you can customize the text so that your users understand what's happening and, and how to respond to the prompts that they see uh, during a Govland remote control session. Now, to make these changes, you have to change some settings on the Govland agents. And we provide several distribution methods for uh, delivering these settings, the text customization and the image branding to the agents themselves. One method is direct registry modification, which is sort of a manual and time-consuming time process and is also not secure because these changes can be reverted. Another way to do it is through a Govland Group Policy Template. This is a centralized GPO that we can give you that you can install on your domain controllers and then distribute the agent settings through the GPO. Now this is a centralized method but it can be uh, somewhat insecure as it's just making registry modifications for you on the uh, on the agent side. The third way you can distribute the settings is using the Govland Central Server. This is a free uh, component that you can add to your Govland setup uh, that allows you to distribute agent settings to the workstations in a very secure manner. It's also again very centralized so you can control everything from one user interface. Okay so let's begin by starting a remote control session and what I'm going to demonstrate now is what the basic notification banner looks like. So we'll connect to a workstation and here you see the default notification banner. So let's flip over to the workstation itself and all of the text that you see here including this logo can be changed. Let's turn over to our domain controller where I have already preloaded the Govalan GPO admin template. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new GPO and assign it to the OU where our workstations are and where the, where the agents are installed. So we'll create a new GPO here We'll give this GPO a name. We'll call it Govland Agent Settings. And we can use this GPO to control all aspects of the Govland agent. In this case, it would be text and image customization. So we'll edit this GPO and here, let's expand this a little bit so we can read it. And as I said before, we've already installed the group policy object on this domain controller. The uh, template is already loaded so when we go to admin templates here you'll see the Govland Universal Settings template. And in here we're going to the user interface customization folder. In this folder we can change many different um, texts that display at different points while the Govland agent is used. So in this case, we can change yes, no buttons, OK buttons. Um, we can change different areas of the text. And when we enable the policy, you can see that all the defaults are preloaded. So let's switch to the notification banner now. Here's where we'll change some of the text that are that's in the notification banner. So we'll enable this setting, and as you can see, the main title, the subtitle, um, the header, and all those areas that we looked at can be changed. So in this section, we'll let's say we'll add 
our company name. So in this case, we'll say our new company is the Acme Corporation. So here we'll do buy an Acme support engineer. We can also change the header area where the username is displayed. So we'll say the following Acme engineer is currently viewing your session. And to demonstrate perhaps um, localization of a different language. So here in the control link, we will change this to Spanish. And here we'll type something in Spanish. That way we can um, localize this setting in case you are supporting users who are in other countries. Okay. And again, you can change all of the different text areas right here. Begin chat with Acme support. We'll click OK and that will apply this policy to our workstations. We'll also go to image customizations where we can customize what the logo is displayed on the notification screen and in admin mode. And to do that, we simply have to provide a file path to a uh, PNG file somewhere where the users uh, have read access. And the PNG files uh, must support transparency and uh, be in specific dimensions, which all is listed here. So we'll go ahead and set this option. OK. So now we'll click OK here. And we have our second policy set. So we have text customization for the notification banner. And we have image customization for admin mode and the notification banner as well. So now what we'll do is we'll flip over back to our technician workstation. And we will initiate a new connection to our workstation after the group policy obviously has been applied and here you can see that our logo is now changed um, let's flip over to the workstation so that we can see it a, a little clearer okay so here you can see your computer is currently being controlled by an Acme support engineer um, the following Acme engineer is currently viewing and controlling your desktop and there goes our logo and also our control link in Spanish. Here's the admin mode screen with our uh, new logo as well. So these are some of the text and image customization options that you can do with Governland that will allow you to localize the text and do some corporate branding. Thank you for watching and make sure you click the subscribe button below. Be sure to visit www.governland.com for more information and your fully featured 30-day trial.